Jeez, I swear, if something else goes wrong... Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome aboard our airship. My name is Abigail, and I have ideas. A lot of good ones, I think. But sometimes... not so good ones. Like boarding this airship. You see, this contraption was built with some lackluster design. Fortunately, I needed an opportunity to bring my ideas to life. And as I always say, design without production is meaningless. But production without design is fatal. So, I'm here to make sure everything is working and to fix those annoying mistakes that may have been overlooked. A bit of quality assurance, if you may. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm on my way. And there's something to go fix now. Never a moment's rest, I tell you. But you know, despite my complaints, I really do love making sure my designs can help save time by being easy to understand. It makes it better for all people, I think. Anyway, I'm sorry. I've got to run. Enjoy your stay, and be sure to find that emergency chute as soon as you can, all right? What? Design should come before production. I can only do so much. All right, bye now. Hi there, everyone. My name is Ali, and I'm a barista here at the local cafe. Welcome to my tasting session. Please take a seat. Most days, I like to take my coffee double-double, but once in a while, it's nice to stop and smell the coffee, quite literally. After all, the coffee beans come through a long journey before ending up in your cup. Today, I want to talk to you about the flavors inside black coffee other than bitter. Coffee beans that come from different regions of the world have characteristic tastes. For example, Latin American beans boast flavors of nuts, cocoa, and soft spice. There are ways you can detect these tastes in your own cup. Before you take a sip, smell the aroma. Try to describe it. Is it nutty? Floral? It should be directly related to the coffee's flavor. Now slurp the coffee. The acidity will be the first thing you taste. It is the tartness of a coffee. Low acidity coffees feel smoother in your mouth, while higher acidity coffees make you salivate. Like when you eat a lemon. You can then feel the body of the coffee. It can be light, medium, or full. Imagine drinking non-fat milk versus whole milk. Light-bodied coffees feel light and has a clean finish. Full-bodied coffees feel heavier and lingers. Then the flavor. Flavors can vary greatly from coffee to coffee, from citrus, cocoa, to berry. After swallowing, try to describe the flavors. Pairing your coffee with certain foods can enhance certain flavors. Oh, my coffee's ready. Mmm. So the next time you get a chance to try black coffee, don't cringe at its bitterness. Instead, relax, sip, pick up those flavors, and enjoy. Thanks for coming by to my tasting session. I hope it helps you bring a little more enjoyment to your everyday morning routine. Have a nice day! Hi, my name is Squad, and I'm here to share some important things about fire safety. Firstly, I love water, and water is the best weapon when it comes to fighting fire. Can you see those three houses behind me? They are very close to each other. What would happen if one of them were to catch on fire? Yes, you are right. The next two house will also be in danger. But don't worry, I'm here to help. Before you need to call me, you should ping by installing fire and smoke detectors throughout your home. This device save your lives. Be sure to have a portable fire extinguisher close by and never ever play with fire. In the event of a fire, stay low to the ground and exit your home immediately and call 911. Until then, be safe. Remember, I got your back. This is Squad 
setting up. O Canada, a country with free healthcare and NBA champions, we have bag milk, poutines, and ketchup chips. A country of diversity, freedom, and opportunities. No other place in the world can really compare, right? Except, it's not as great as you may think. One in six children in Canada experience food insecurity. Hunger is not the only form of suffering. Unfortunately, illiteracy, developmental delays, poor academic performance, and limited employment possibilities are just a few of the many consequences. Almost half of these kids come from families where at least one parent is working a full-time job. Eradicating child poverty in Canada would benefit everyone. We would have lower health care costs, fewer high school dropouts, increased economic prosperity, and increased tax base from a fuller employment pool. Overall, a happier society. Right now, we just need to take a small step to make big progress, and it starts with giving kids a nutritious after-school snack that they can always rely on. At Start to Finish, we strive to improve the lives of children from at-risk neighborhoods by encouraging reading, physical activity, providing them with the basic tools for success, and of course, food. By extending your hand, you will nourish a positive future starting in your own backyard, making your community a safer and more secure place for everyone. You might be asking, so what can I do? It's easier than you think. A donation is all it takes. We'll prep the snacks and hand them out. Follow the link provided to explore a variety of donation options that fit your budget. Your help can kickstart a brighter future now. Hi, my name is Shunyi, and I just started grade 1. My parents are always working, so I have to eat by myself and go to school by myself. I don't know how to read very good, and I have very little cool school stuff. It kind of makes me sad. I want to play tag at recess, but my friends don't want to play tag. I'm tired too, anyway. But then our school started this thing called Running and Reading Club. It helps us read as a group, and I get to eat healthy snacks with my friends. It makes me really happy to not be alone. Then we get to run. It's less fun than tag, but I still like it. We still get to play other games. I'm super excited to try the reading challenge and 5k challenge. 5,000 is a lot. After snacks, I can run, play, and be strong. I don't feel tired anymore. I feel good. I want all kids to feel this good. Please help kids like me. Janine is one of many students who have benefited from running and reading clubs in Canada. Nutritious snacks play an important role in fueling the children towards success and to achieve their dreams. For more stories like Janine's and how you can help, follow the link in the post. Be a part of the change.